coming out. She's her usual cheerful, her, cheerful self, <laughs> waving to the crowd waiting there. Professor Yan, how do you feel about seeing your friend back here on Earth for the first time well, in six months? Uh, yeah, Ping is uh, still so energetic, <laughs> uh, like Yura. Sliding down. You can hear a lot of cheering for her. Yeah, people shouting her name. You can see the um, slider itself, and the, the astronaut slides down with the with the belt behind, so oh, they're, yes. they're dragging it, so there's gently slide down and carried by six people onto the chair. Oh, look at that huge bright smile. She's just happy to be back, there's no mistaking <laughs> that. I believe um, uh, the most uh, happy person will, on the earth will be her daughter, uh, Zhao Yunxi. Mm. I imagine so. And she has made so many firsts on this flight. Yeah. I mean, she had big dreams when she was little, growing up, um, to first become a a pilot, and then a career as an astronaut in China's space program. And for the first time in six months, someone to wave to. <laughs> <laughs> so, 15 days she spent on the Shenzhou 10, and then now added to this 183 days. So she's the person who the. Chinese astronaut who's been in space for the longest. Yeah, yeah. So, so she now keeps the longest uh, accumulated uh, duration in mm. China among all astronauts of China. Record setter. Good morning, Wang Yaping. I'm the journalist from CMD. Welcome back. After this special trip of six months, have you completed all the mission given by your daughter? And do you have any message to share with us all? It's been a trip to the space for more than 180 days, but we are not alone because we have been cheered up by the messages of congratulations from President Xi Jinping, and we are accompanied by all the colleagues from our side. We are also welcomed by all the people and supported by them in this country. And now I have a message for my daughter. I'm back with all the stars collected for you.